really old oaks, defensive lines against raiders and magnetic anomalies. These are just some of the facts we'll cover today when we talk about Belgorod Oblast. Hello and welcome to 7 Fact. Belgorod, or the White City, is one of Russia's many federal subjects, an oblast found on the European side of this gigantic country. It's a little bit smaller than Albania and houses around 1.5 million people, the vast majority of which are Russian ethnics. It's situated right on the border with Ukraine and it's a quiet little place that stays out of the headlines. That's not to say Belgorod is a boring place. There's plenty to see and talk about, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. Of course, people have been living here for ages, but the Slavic history of Belgorod began around the 8th century AD. That's when we see the first signs of Slavic tribes settling here. All development practically stopped during the Mongol invasion of Europe, which essentially left this place in desolation. But, as it always happens, Belgorod recovered, and by the 17th century the region became part of a continuous line of military fortifications, the Belgorod Line, which was built to protect Russian lands from raids of the Crimean Nogai. This defensive line stretched for 800 kilometers and the city of Belgorod became its military center. And so, in Russian history books, Belgorod is a place of many heroic tales and, rightfully so, is regarded as a major player in the formation of the modern Russian state. The city of Belgorod is of course the capital of the oblast. It was named so because of the limestone that can be found in abundance here. Beli means white and Gorod is city. In modern times, the city's most awful period was during World War II, when the Germans occupied it and fearsome battles took place to recapture it. Nearly all of Belgorod's major buildings were destroyed and the city laid in ruins. Nowadays, Belgorod is nothing like that. The city ranks first in terms of cleanliness and livability among mid-sized cities in Russia. You may not have heard of it, but this is one of Russia's most bustling and cosmopolitan cities. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 4. Almost everywhere you go, you'll always find some sort of a tourist attraction, be that a castle, monuments, museums or whatever. But not many places can proud themselves with the tree as a tourist trap. Panski Dub, or the Panski Oak, is just that kind of a tree. It's not its size that's special, although it is a 35 meter tall oak, and there's nothing out of the ordinary about it. Except for the fact that this tree has been around since the 1460s. That means this oak is about 550 years old. The fact that this solitary oak survived is even more amazing when you think that this entire area was covered by forests and most of the trees were chopped down to build the Belgorod line, except for this one. Some say there's something fishy going on in Belgorod. And they're right. Well, it's not what you think, there's no secret base here, nor aliens. But there is an anomaly, the biggest of its kind on Earth the Kursk Magnetic Anomaly, and it's caused by one of the largest iron deposits that we know of. There are about 55 billion tons of iron ores spread over an area that extends way beyond Belgorod. But 40% of the country's iron reserves are right here in this oblast. So much iron causes a magnetic variation so strong that it actually affects Earth's magnetic field. Cool. You know that oh-so-typical embroidery that's almost always associated with Eastern Europe and especially Russia? Well, that's called the Rushnik, and Belgorod is one of the places where this piece of art originates from. Rushnik comes from the Russian ruka, meaning hand, signifying that it's meant to be put on something. But it's much more than a decoration, because it's also a piece of ritualistic art, with its origins laying in the early pagan Eastern Slavic tribes. The rectangular shape of the fabric indicates a life's journey and the ornamentation captures the cultural ancestral memory of the region. 
Rushniks are used at births, funerals, medicine, weddings and in the old days in magic rituals. It's the wedding traditions Belgorod is mostly connected to and the patterns sewn onto the towels all mean something and are meant to symbolize and give the young couple a happy, fertile family life. Old monasteries all have a certain mystery surrounding them, but that's probably because they're old and secluded. However, at Kolkovsky Troitsky Monastery, there's a major added bonus. First of all, the monastery and its surrounding area are breathtakingly beautiful. However, underneath it all, there's a network of caves and tunnels carved right into stone. Yes, Kolkovsky is a cave monastery that's been around since the 1600s. The caves themselves have been around, well, no one knows since when. There are no written records about when, why or who built these caves. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time, bye.